Good evening. President Trump says there is no deal for Dreamers unless he gets billions for his border wall. Dreamers are those who were brought to this country illegally as children. Anjanette Levy spoke with one today about the request that the Trump administration presented to some senators. Anjanette? Well, Brad, that request came in a memo to senators. It has not been made public. Since President Trump announced the end of DACA, nearly 800,000 students have been left in a holding pattern and they'd like a clean bill granting them permanent legal status. We want the wall. The wall's going to happen or we're not going to have DACA. The wall is one of President Trump's signature campaign promises. He wants $18 billion to build the wall, and he's tied it to a deal for dreamers like Xavier University student Jose Cabrera. A lot of those DACA recipients are starting to feel like a pop in this whole political uh, arena and we've been a palm for a very long time and it's not just for the Democrats it's also have been for the Republicans. Cabrera feels something could have been done for dreamers under the Obama administration when Democrats controlled Congress. He wants a so-called clean dream act that isn't tied to funding for the wall or more ICE agents. A lot of our parents are already undocumented and if the dream act were to pass a lot of our parents will benefit from it. So they will stay undocumented while we have documentations. And as more funding um, goes to ICE, the probability of them getting detained is, is, goes up. President Trump announced the end of DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, in September. Some Democrats believe shutting down the government could be a way to force a deal on DREAMers. So what we have got to do, it seems to me, is to pass the DREAMers legislation which protects and provides legal status to these young people. Later on, we have to work for comprehensive immigration reform. Congressman Brad Wenstrup issued a statement to us that reads in part, border security is an inextricable part of strong legal immigration. It is crucial to stemming the flow of drugs into our communities, controlling potential health epidemics, and securing our nation against those who wish us harm. President Trump was right to call for DACA to be addressed in tandem with necessary border security fixes. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle are scheduled to meet at the White House tomorrow to discuss immigration and hopefully avoid a government sh shutdown over this issue. Brad? And Jeanette, thank you. Today, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security confirms special protections for Salvadorian immigrants will end. There are nearly 200,000 Salvadorians that will have to leave the U.S. before September of 2019 unless they adjust their legal status. Many of those immigrants were granted temporary protection status after an earthquake in 2001. The Homeland Security Secretary says the damage from the earthquake has been repaired and now Congress can address the issue through legislation.